welcome back to What's the Jam? We're your hosts, I'm Jam. And I'm Cal. We're a mother and daughter duo ready to give you unprofessional advice on your shit show situations. Follow us on Instagram at What's the Jam for more adventures and fun. Hey guys. Hello everybody. Hi Dr. Nick. Dr. Nick? You know of The Simpsons? No. Nah. He's like, hi, everybody. And everyone oh. replies, hi, Dr. Nick. I haven't watched The Bloody Simpsons since you were a baby. Well, I suggest anyway, you tune in. What episode is this? It's 30. 30. I remember being 30. Oh, no, I had a baby then. Oh. Um, yeah, okay, great. Episode 30. <laughs> well, season two, episode 30, which yeah. is like crazy to me. But our first season only had 12 episodes. So this yeah. is like... Lots of episodes. This is lots of episodes. There will be a break probably coming up soon, I reckon. Yep. Somewhere. I'm so. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere around maybe October. Yeah. yeah. Around there. Around that time. Yeah. Yeah. Something okay, like cool. That. Cool. I'm um, glad we figured that out. Is everyone yeah. ready to rock? <laughs> Just give you a forewarning. I know we're in only in August. Yeah, she's like, I'm already planning my break. Well, you um, need a break sometime. Absolutely. Like me, I took a break from drinking this week. I need, and a, I need a break from her. Fuck her. Um, and I'm not hungover today, so how good's that? It's been, I've had a, it's been a busy weekend though. It has. What have you so, been up to? So, for me, I woke up at midnight to watch the World Netball. So the Diamonds were in the semi final against mm. Jamaica and they won by... Three. Then I went. What a nail biter! So that was midnight till probably maybe two. Mm. Then I went back to sleep, and then I was up at six because I had to do work at six thirty. Yeah. And luckily, work from home. Yeah, that's lucky. Yeah, until about ten fifteen, and then I was sick. I went back to sleep, mm. and then old elephant comes running down the stairs <laughs> at twenty to one, waking me up. I was like, "Hi, what are you doing?" But anyway, and then, yeah, and the Diamonds play again Sunday morning at 2 o'clock. What is with these times? Well, because it's being played in South Africa. Oh, fair. So it's the time difference. Yeah, that is annoying. But anyway, that's – oh, and I went for – I did a road trip on mm. Saturday day mm. to go and see my parents. Out at Pitty? It's like a – yeah, Pittsworth. Mm. Took my sister and my niece. Mm. Had a lovely time. That sounds nice. Lovely lunch. Yeah. Met the wonderful Shah. The Shah, lovely Shah. Shah is one, also one of our followers. Yeah. Shout out Shah. Happy Shout Monday Shah. to you, babes. Yeah. Um, that was lovely meeting her for the first time. It was really lovely lunch. Lovely day. Had some laughs. I'm pretty sure we shocked her. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Look, mean to. Our family isn't the most um, like chill people to like meet for the first time. We're a lot to deal with. Like I feel like we're a lot. Yeah, but that was okay. But it was a lovely day. Yeah, well, Joel and I didn't go because we had a bunch of open houses to look at on Saturday. We went to five or four, four or five. Um, we put some more offers in, didn't we, Joel? So, oh, my God, we are so over Guys, it. do you remember when last two week weeks ago. we fucking said... Two weeks ago. Well, no, it was just last week oh, that yeah, we, we said... Did, yeah, I'll tell you next week if we're home and it's because maybe the guy that's taken two weeks to make a decision might actually make one. Yeah. Guess what? This motherfucker came back and asked for twenty five more thousand dollars, and he we told him to money. get fucked. He wanted more money. Yeah. The audacity to mm. take two weeks and then ask for, ask more, for money. more money. Yeah, I was like, nope, and so we withdrew our offer, and we were like, fuck you. So anyway, hopefully something comes from the ones we put in an offer for on the weekend, but I ain't holding my breath. Who knows? Um, yeah, that's probably me this week. Mm. Didn't really do much. I did your hair today. Shout out to the Dyson company because that's thanks to Dyson and my manual labour. I'll send you the bill after. But. All I wanted to do was put it probably up in a bun and she goes, no, I'm going to do this. Mm. So then I had to sit there and wait for her to do it all. But then, you know, when you like do someone else's hair and then you're like, oh, I can't be fucked doing mine now. That's what happened with me. I made your hairs look beautiful and then I just brushed mine and went, this will do. <laughs> that's not very good. <laughs> it's fine. Mm. We're going to do yeah. some TikToks after this anyway, so. <laughs> yep. Woo. Guys, TikToks are her favourite part of the week. No, my favourite part is doing reviews. Oh, yeah, true. I prefer to do them. Yeah. But anyway, I'll do the TikToks. Don't know how much you like them and enjoy them, but I do them. Yeah. Well, actually, we reached a new milestone this week. We had a 
TikTok go, well, like, it's the most views we ever got. Yeah, so to us, it went viral. In my little brain. In our little brain, it, it went was viral. viral for us. So it got, like, 25,000 views, which is, Woo! like, mental. And it was us reviewing looks from the Logies. Yeah. And it was so much fun to make. We were just, like, chilling, laying on mum's bed, talking shit. Yeah, she made me lay on my stomach on the bed. I'm an old lady. She was like, hurry up. <laughs> and she was getting cranky because I was saying hurry up. And I'm like, well, this is the way you want me to see it. <laughs> anyway, it was good. It was good. But, but thanks to those that watched it, it was fantastic to I see know. those numbers. And I was like, every like couple of hours, I'd be like, oh, my God, it's got more views. Because that's the most we've ever had. So we were like pretty stoked. Yeah, that was that was good for, for us. For our we little uh, hmm. um, show. So, yeah. Thanks, yeah, guys. thanks, guys. Um, so I'm going to talk to, to you today about something I saw on TikTok and then I went on a deep dive, which is so standard for me. That's, you know, how I live my entire fucking life. But this shit, like, I was like, whoa, have we gone too far? Really? Yeah. So, okay, so we know, we you know what AI is. You know, chat GPT intelligence. intelligence. Yeah. You know how, like, you can type something into chat PT chat gtp or like you can actually tell it a line yeah and it will create a whole, a whole like thing. story they can it can do anything like yes you just write whatever you want and it'll yeah spit it out and it's even like you can even upload a photo and type in there can you please add a tree remove this add in a castle or whatever and it just does it but don't you, isn't that the sort of technology technology we want for some things absolutely i'm not saying for everything absolutely so this is probably where I go, I don't think we need the technology for uh, this. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we shall see. Yeah. Um, so what I've written here is, okay, so we all know AI is actually bananas with some of the things it do. does. So, so cool. But one thing I found this week made me go, what the hell? Apparently someone has created a, an AI female character um, and they have TikTok accounts, YouTubes, Twitters, Instagram accounts and everything where they post as if they're real people. Already I'm thinking this is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. not, only, uh, not only that, some of these AI characters are actually being paid brand deals from places like Prada and Calvin Klein. So How for, though? I know. So for people that are not familiar with what a brand deal is, because not everyone listening may understand what that means, it's where you work with a company for mutual benefit. So if someone was to send us a pair of high heels yeah. and says, I want you guys to do three posts and a story, yeah, we would do that for them because it's like free marketing for them because our audience would watch it. And it's also beneficial for us because we get a free pair of shoes. And, you know what I mean? But you also need like lots of followers we, yeah. before they would even approach Our 1,100 it. followers, ain't no one's no. sending us shit for free. <laughs> no one is doing that. But, so, you know, it's kind of like a win-win for both parties. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's what it's supposed to be. Um, so some of these AI characters are getting these brand deals. And in my mind, I was like, well, maybe it's easier working with those AI characters because they're not real people. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then they'll do whatever you want. They'll do what? The company wants them to do. Yeah, because there's this obviously someone so behind. So they can create the narrative. Yeah. So there's obviously someone behind oh my the AI character. Yeah. So, for example, if if someone, um, let's say someone was living in England in winter. Yeah. And there was a company that sends a, a bikini and says, oh, can you take photos in these bikinis? Yeah. They're going to have to go on a holiday somewhere to wear that bikini or post it in their bedroom yeah. or whatever, which kind of is like, mm. but. This they could just create a fucking background of Hawaii and That's put this mean. fake they bitch can, in a bikini. They can create their own narrative. Yes. Oh my god. No, that's not fair. That's not fair. It's, because... it's putting the influencers out of the job. Oh like, my god. Yes. Yep. So one of the accounts I saw was only created in April, and it has one hundred seventy-eight thousand Instagram followers. Oh my god. We just flat out getting our thousand. I'm hundred. like, I we fought. Every single yeah. one of those fucking followers. And exactly. I was like, wow. Um, on this Instagram page as well, there are links to subscribe to see more of her, which basically means that some people are subscribing to OnlyFans accounts for these AI generated characters. So like subscribing to see that AI character oh, naked. Oh, that's, nah, that's bullshit. So I was like, no. okay, so not only are we chucking influencers in the bin, but now we're chucking OnlyFans babies in the bin? 
Leave the sex workers alone. They're out here fucking we working hard. We need to hard. get rid of this AI business. I know. So I did find an article. So there was one, there's a virtual influencer. This is what they call themselves, virtual influencers. So obviously we know there's someone behind these these fucking characters yeah, but, pulling the strings, but this person is not real. Like it's not a real... The account is not real. Yes. The so, person in the account is not real. Correct. So there's a virtual influencer, I'm not going to name names, but they pose as a 24-year-old AI bot based in Finland and has gained following on social media for her stunning photos in bikinis, gowns and golf attire. I don't know why golf attire is in there, that's fucking weird. Despite openly disclosing her artificial intelligence status, some users are actually mistaking her as a real person and expressing a desire to meet her. So the rise in AI-generated users like this person is not limited to social media but actually also expands into the dating world. Oh, my God, this is awful. I know. Celebrity matchmaker Alessandra Conti has noticed a significant increase in clients reporting instances of being catfished by AI bots. These bots are convincing. Are that convincing, it becomes difficult to distinguish them from real individuals. Conti suggests that um, looking out for certain signs to identify these bots, such as profiles that aren't clearly labelled. She also notes um, that discussions about money and investments can also be a red flag. So some of them, not all of them, some of them are using like this platform that they're basically creating for themselves to rot money off people or to kind of yeah. start GoFundMe pages oh or like these subscription services basically that where you can like talk to them like they're your girlfriend but it's a subscription you're paying for a subscription oh my god this is like I'm just another scam I know so however she acknowledges that these bots often target people aged 35 and above who are more susceptible to falling for their tactics in some cases, influencers like blank have embraced AI versions of themselves. So this person's like name kind of says that they're AI in their name yeah. instead of having a fake name and then just writing on their profile that they're mm. AI. You know what I mean? Um, okay. It allows her to monetize her name and likeness by charging users for interaction. So like I said, like having interactions with them. While some cases... Um, see this as a consensual arrangement. Conti raises concerns about older individuals being catfished by these convincing AI bots on dating apps. Even high profile dating apps like Raya have experienced infiltration by AI bots, proving that not that no platform is fully immune from this issue. Conti emphasizes that the need for vigilance and verification when interacting with others on dating apps is imperative. The presence of AI bots in the digital landscape highlights the importance of being cautious and aware of signs that indicate possible deception. So it's just important that we like don't like we do we do your to... checks. Do your checks is all all they're saying. Oh, so I've actually looked at a couple of accounts. Yeah, but hang on a minute. I just want to address the mm. over thirty five getting sucked into it. No, they're saying they're more susceptible. Not that they're the only ones being. Conned. I feel like they're saying that we're old and we Thanks, don't know I'm not what we're far doing. away from fucking 35. And that we're not knowing what we're doing. Goodness no. But I'll, I'll pass that on to Alessandra Conti for you. Yeah, that'll be great. The celebrity Thanks. dating expert. Because yeah, she'll that. definitely reply to me. Crazy. Anyway, so I've gone through and I had a look at some of these profiles. And to me, it looks obvious that this person is not a real person. But I guess like for some people, it is just you know, that convincing. So I've saved some Instagrams and I'm going to show you. But in my mind, I thought to myself like, oh my God, ladies and gents and they, thems and everyone, you need to not worry about your person and significant other cheating on you with a secretary. You might need to worry about them cheating on you with a fucking robot. <laughs> Sounds like it. Like, Does. I just, like, how are we supposed to compete with AI titties? Well, you can't. They're because computer they're generated. They're supposed they're to look perfect. perfect. Yeah. Or designer vaginas. But there's a person behind it creating that. I know. But I don't so think what people does that are giving person a fuck. Look like. I don't think they care. They I could think be like are... a teenager. But they could be anyone. They could be fucking. What a very anyone. scary world we're moving into. I know. So here And is... that wasn't the purpose of the AI when it was created. Well, I am not the AI creator, so I don't know what the fuck. No, but I don't think was. that was the purpose of it. No. 
So I'm gonna show you just a couple of Instagrams and then I'm gonna show you a video of one of them that is like moving around in a bikini. So it looks, anyway, so this is the first page. I've just like taken a screenshot of the account. So you can see all of the posts are like just bikini yeah. and lingerie. They say they're a virtual model and influencer. Virtual model. So here's a different one. And they're all like 20. They're yeah, like there's 20. nothing. There's no ounce of like anything on them. They got Look at those AI titties. What are we supposed to be doing? Big titties, small waist, all of that sort of stuff. Oh, my God. And they're all blonde. What's with making everybody <laughs> blonde? What's wrong with a brown head or a redhead? <laughs> Gosh, guys. They are. Every single one of them is blue. I know. So then... Um, and I bet you're all blue-eyed as well. Yeah, they are. And then this one's got 277,000 followers. Whoa. That is bullshit. I know. So, and now I'm going to show you a um, a video. And oh. that... Hang on a second. And they <laughs> yeah. are not real women. There's no curve. Mm, so, let me go well, you know, to some of where i a bit saved. curvier than others. Okay. What? <laughs> what? So, hold the phone. I'm just going to tap I'm it. holding the phone. Is that? That's it. Is that a virtual? That is a. That is not a real person. She has not got one ounce of cellulite. No, nothing. Everything's perfect. But isn't that insane? Yep. She looks real. She looks real. And no wonder people are getting sucked in. Yeah. She's had her breakfast and she's ready. That's what it says. <laughs> Just thought I'd give you a bit of a... And bit she's of a doing visual. these ones. She's, she's shaking her titties these. like, woo! And her hair is like perfect blonde. Oh, she's got brown eyes in this one. Mm. But that's, that's really scary. That is very and scary. And like there was another and video I saw... People, can f people will fall in love with people like that. I know. So I there was one I saw because I was like, I wonder if there's anywhere there's a video of them actually talking and not just dancing to songs or whatever. But there was one of them that I saw, she was doing a review of a bikini. Yeah. It sounded so real and so genuine. And she was like, yeah, guys, I just love this pattern. And she's like holding onto the bikini and like, you know, kind of twirling around. She was like, I just think it's so tropical and like I can't wait to wear it to the beach next week. And But it was so full on real. It was insane. And I was like, how? How, how are, we, are they doing this? I don't how understand. How can we compete with that? I don't know. But all I'm saying is watch watch the bank accounts for subscriptions to AI bitches is all I'm saying. Because we cannot. Boys and girls don't fall in love with them. We can't compete with designer vaginas and AI titties. No. We can't do that. No. Follow okay. the real ones. <laughs> I'm like, don't put it. And it looks like all the fake ones are blondes. Anyway, nothing against you blondes, so don't come at me. But I know it is. How many times do you think you say don't come at me like every episode? Yeah, I do because you've got to just <laughs> check yourself because everyone out there will be checking you. Mm. Like, I don't care. Come at me, whatever. Mm. I'm up for a good troll. Mm. I love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, it's Make so myself good. go viral. I know. So anyway, isn't that crazy? Can we just like, that's mental. It is mental. I don't know. I don't know what to say because I didn't. I know whenever something new comes out, there is always someone that wants to be devious mm. and try There's and some deception. Yep, yeah, try and create something out of it so that they gain from it. So yeah. I'm sure these people are gaining something from it. Yeah. In terms of a monetary, well, like people are subscribing, from it. and this is what I mean. There's always like, you know, like. At work, they create firewalls so people can't get in, but they're always creating mm. new firewalls because people are always trying new ways to get in, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. And this is what this is. Like, it's crazy. Actual madness. Actual madness. Mm. And I was like, We're going to be overrun. I know. I was like, oh, my God, all of the bitches on Instagram are going to be mm. fake and, well, you know, what are we going to do? All the bitches. Go, <sighs> go at her. Go at her. Anyway, what have you got for me, please? Well, it's really funny because... You'll love this shit show. Am I? Am I going to get mad? Well, it's funny. Well, it's not funny. It's, oh, this poor person. Oh, my God. So you've just laughed at her already. Great work. No, you can take that shit back. <laughs> take it back. <laughs> take it or back. Don't get me cancelled. I canceled. will get up and I will smack you. Go on then. You ain't big enough that I can't smack you. I don't know. I'm, I reckon at some point you're going to start shrinking and I'm going to be taller than you and it's going to well, be I'm great. Well, I am shrinking apparently. Mm. All right, shit show. Hit me with it, girl. Can you help me tell I've if I'm being catfished? The answer is probably yes. 
If you're already... We if, haven't even started. I don't even care. If you are already questioning if you're getting catfished, you probably are. Okay. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming. We'll see you next week. Um, follow us on Instagram. Thanks. Jam is such an ass. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read it. Mm. Let me read it. All right, go. I matched with this guy on Hinge. Okay, there's the downfall <laughs> to start with. Stop straight away. Well, there we go. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh. Who seems really cool. Oh, everyone seems cool on those bloody things, don't Legit. they? Legit. That's the whole point of them. We've been talking for about two months. I'm really into him. Mm. Two months into him. Mm. As I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Oh, God. <sighs> God. Good luck. No, not on hinge. Good luck is all I'm saying. I made it very clear at the start what that's what I want. Well, okay, well, that's good. That's good. Set the precedent. He agreed, however. When it comes to actually hanging out, he says that he gets social anxiety. Mm. He also works away in the mines on a shit roster of three weeks on, one week off, which really limits the time I can plan something to meet him in person. That's a shit swing. Well, it happens. Yeah. If that's the way you're going to meet people on Hinge, you've got to expect it. Mm. I've tried to forward plan and make suggestions that he somehow shuts down my ideas every time saying he wants to go to really expensive places and wants to make it special for the first time. Okay. Mm. I'm already like, I can't "Mm -hmm." be bothered. Just come and get a coffee with me. Like, don't be weird. Just get a coffee. I'm not a materialistic type of girl, so this isn't something that's essential to me. Yeah. I've just got a feeling something is up because even if I ask to FaceTime, the connection is always shit because of the Wi-Fi at the, to- at the mine site. And before you ask, yes, he has social media, only Instagram. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. That's Some fine. people only have Instagram. Joel only has Instagram. Yeah, but it doesn't have a lot of photos and he doesn't post much because social media isn't really his thing. Well, it's not everybody's. My brother doesn't have it. Yeah. My Jacko, nephew don't yeah, have it. Yeah, my nephew doesn't. Can you tell me if I'm going crazy? Well, let me tell you firstly, if you think you're going to meet the man of your dreams on him, <laughs> yes, you're crazy. <laughs> so to all the people that date, met on dating apps and are now married with children, you're crazy. We don't want to hear it. You can't tell her any any other way. She doesn't believe it. Bless. Just, I was joking. Could you okay? imagine if Joel and I met on a dating app and you were like, nope, nope, it's not real. No, it's not. No, I wouldn't do that. That's I'm just, so I just don't understand. I Different suppose generation. because I met, da- I met your father the old fashioned way, I suppose. In, in the world. At the pub. <laughs> <laughs> at the pub. Could you, could you make anything more Australian in your life? Where'd you but be your husband? Oh, at the pub. Look, and I do understand that if I had to go back out there into the dating world, online dating would probably form one big part of that. And I understand that. Yeah, for sure. I understand that. And I understand that it is probably so difficult to meet somebody. Fucking oath it and is. And so when this person says like, and they've put out there what they want. That's actually good. Like it's good that you've made it really clear straight up. Like, hey, I'm feeling you, but I want something long term. So if you're not into that, boot scoot. But with the Wi-Fi thing out at the mine, I don't think that would be a thing because those mine sites ensure that because mm. they ensure that those workers are equipped with everything because they spend so much time out there. Yeah. That they are equipped with their downtime the has to be on point. Like state of the art yeah. stuff. So I think that's a bit of bullshit. So didn't, like when dad worked in the mines, didn't wasn't there like a gym and everything? Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me they don't got good Wi Fi but that's, they have a gym? That's what I'm saying. Like they are equipped with like really good stuff. So it could quite possibly be something wrong there. My okay, well I can tell you this for free. My brother in law works in a oil rig, like mine site, I don't under really understand how it really works, but he is always FaceTiming my sister-in-law. Yeah. He has no dramas, like, and I guess it's different from mine site to mine site, but if you're on a, a three-week room. on, one-week off fucking swing yeah. and the Wi-Fi shit, I would be going to HR. And you can forward plan because you know what his shifts are going to be. Yeah. So I think that's a bit of bullshit as well. Mm. So... Have you, you've, I'm assuming you've only seen photos of him and you haven't actually seen him on the FaceTime. So you need to do that search you do on the internet with the photo. Oh my God, like You're the like TV on show. on the Catfish show. Yes, but. Oh, I love that show. Oh, we also, yeah, you can also, you can do that because. Yeah. You just got to put the, the search in the. You like, 
drag the photo it's into gotta Google. Be, yeah, but it's got to be, I think, in a certain like JPEG or, um, oh, you know, yeah. that format and then yeah. you can put it in to search it. Yeah. Um, Look, you can do that way. If you don't know how to do it, you text us those photos, send us <laughs> to them on Instagram and we will fucking search for them on the Google for you. I would happily do a search. We will Google it. I like, to be, like being a little I bit of a PI. It. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Because there's always ways of finding people. Mm. So I, for me, I would think if he keeps just doing this whole wishy-washy thing, mm. you need to just say we either do this or we don't and if we don't, see you later. Yeah. Okay. And so how long has she been talking to him? Two months. Was two it? months. Okay, oh, so that's... let me just open up my yeah. Two months. So that's not really okay. you're not fully invested. I don't no, think. No, but what does that mean? In two months' time, he's been home twice. Well, it does, and it gets social anxiety. I don't. Look, I, don't I know. Get, I know people with social anxiety. It's definitely yeah. real. Like it's definitely a thing um, that people go through, and it's really hard to overcome. But I know. Like, it depends on the circumstance. So I know a lot of the people I know with social anxiety don't like big crowds. So they're, like, yeah. going places like festivals or shopping centres or something yeah, where there's, like, a lot of people. Yeah, for a first meet anyway. But then there's other people on the flip side that one-on-one -on -one interaction is where their social anxiety is the worst and they prefer to hide in crowds. So I mean, it really just depends. But I mean, if he was fully invested, all you could say was, let's go for a cof coffee. Get a coffee. Is a cafe comfortable for you or yeah. whatever? And then just do that as the first thing. Yeah. No, I agree. I feel... a, it's really hard to say whether you are or not. Is there enough? Okay. So the social media, he's got, he's got an Instagram, but he doesn't post on it a lot. So does he use that as his... Well, what are the photos on, on Hinge like? Are they the same? Oh my are god! They the are they the photos? same photos from Instagram as they are on Hinge, or are they different? Are they different? Photos? If they're the you same know? photos, would that make us more suspicious? Probably yes. Yeah, same. Yes, mm. but I mean, what are your conversations like? Are they down and dirty, or are they just and or are you guys? Do really... you actually speak, or is it only chat? Because he says he can't Facetime, but do they call without the Facetiming, or is it just chatting? I like, feel like it probably. You should surely. After two months, you've had a phone call. Not necessarily yeah. a, a FaceTime, but I'm sure you've heard know. his voice before. Because then, how do you know if he's bloody like him? What if yeah. he's got a shit voice? You know what I mean? Because I, I don't know about I've, anyone else, but like... A voice you can overcome. Oh. Oh. Have you not seen... What is that fucking movie called? Adam Sandler's in it. And there's like a scene where all the mums are at the pool, like at the water park, and there's this big hunking lifeguard that walks over. Oh, and he's got that high And he's like, voice. hey, ladies! And it's like, whoa! Like, and they automatically laugh at him. That'd be me. I can't do it. Oh, I can't see past it. I don't care how beautiful you are. You've got a weird voice. I, it ain't me. Oh. And teeth. I'm really fucking into teeth. You've oh got to have nice teeth. God. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm out. I can't okay. do it. Because right. I'll just stare at your mouth the whole time and just be like, fuck. You are so mean sometimes. I know I'm mean, but like I know. I know I'm mean. Look, I don't, I'm a bit half and half on this one. I think you should just say, I think she should just say coffee. If you don't want to do coffee, then I don't think we should stay in contact anymore. Hmm. I feel like there's definitely – okay, so if I go through the points, let's start with the social media. Obviously – <laughs> I can't help it. I've got to like really map it out. Anyway, so social media. Yeah. Yes, not everyone is into social media. Like I definitely have people in my life that don't use it. Yeah. And it's also incredibly difficult to get a hold of those people. Yes. It's ridiculous. Yes. So I kind of understand that element. Also, when I met Joel, he didn't have social media. He only had a phone number. And I thought a man in his mid to late 20s, that was the weirdest fucking thing I've, I'd ever heard. Yeah, but he was like, you don't have, I was like, you don't have, you don't have Instagram. Like you don't have Facebook. You don't have Snapchat. Like what the fuck do you do with your time? Like, do you read books? <laughs> like, I don't understand. And so that was automatically, I was like, this is weird. But he turned out to be normal-ish. But, you know. <laughs> he's, a, he's all right. He's all right. Um, but so that's the social media point. I feel like we could probably take it or leave it. The only thing that concerns me is if the photos on his 
Hinge profile are exactly the same as his Instagram mm. profile. Like if there's not even a single different photo, red flag. Mm. Um, the mind site Wi-Fi excuse, red flag. I'm just not buying it. I'm not buying that. They they want to do everything in their power, those companies, to make their workers as comfortable as possible. Because it's mental health is really important out on those it's sites. Huge. So like they have amazing food. They They've got wanna, the gym facilities. They've got the yeah, Wi-Fi. And they would like, want to make sure that you have contact with your family and your friends. 100%. That is a huge priority mm. out there. So I feel like that's a red flag, mm. especially if you've spoken to him on the phone but not spoken to him on FaceTime. Because mm. if you've got enough fucking Wi-Fi to call me so, but not put your camera yeah, on. Yeah, but what about when you are on your week home? Why aren't you FaceTiming then? Thank you. It oh, just popped into look my at, head. Look at that. Look at that. We think about it more. and it just, I'm like, well, the week off, what's going on there? And also, so he's had two weeks home. One week. Oh, well, two weeks, two weeks in the two months. In the two yeah. months, he's been home for two weeks. So no FaceTime calls have happened. And no. you haven't met up because of his social anxiety. Has that been the excuse every time? Mm. Or has there been other excuses? And he keeps saying he like wants to make the first time special. But why is he delaying it? If he wants to make it so special, why is he delaying he the interaction? He knows when he's going to be home. Legit. I think you're being catfished. I've decided. I've... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I've convinced I've her in I've my I've decided. No, you haven't. I've been thinking about it. Have you? You mulled it yeah, over, babe. I've mulled it over. You know, sometimes I've got to mull things over before I can make a decision. Yeah. I think you're being cat. I, I think you're being catfish. I think you are too. I think you just let it go. Get mm. back on that hinge and find someone else. Look, get back on that. Who knows? It could be an AI bot. <laughs> But oh, might be too. you just don't know. If he asks for money, run for the hills. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. <sighs> First red flag, isn't it? I don't know. Or look, plot twist. He might just be a really shy, nice guy who doesn't no. want to do anything. I don't know. No. But I think it's catfish, personally. Yeah. Me too. Have we agreed? Yeah. Shut up. High five. Get it, girl? Yeah. Catfish for sure. Mm. Dump his ass. Well, they're not dating. Well, it could, but... be, a, could be a woman. I don't know. Yeah, actually. did it? Catfish is all about... Well, I love watching the show because I'm always like... Isn't it upsetting though? It is upsetting to it's be... It's upsetting for the ones when they find out that, that who they have fallen in love with is totally not who they yeah, are. Yeah, that element sucks. I also find it interesting when I watch those shows, if um, they get caught, the other person that has kind of... That's Done been it. catfishing them, mm. if it's somebody that they know. So, like, if it's somebody that's already in their life. That's worse. That's worse. Like, I feel like, fuck you. You've been sitting behind my back laughing about this. Yeah, like, but what's why? the, like, you know. Because such... I've seen episodes that have been like that. So vindictive, hey. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, fuck that. Like, that's so, that's just so sad. But if it's some rando, like, yeah, it's still sad. But it's like. It's cruel. But, like, fuck, why? Well, and, like, how would you keep up with such a double life? Oh, it's too much. Like, I can't even pig. work a full-time job. Oh, God, no. No. And walk my dog every day. Like, how do you guys find time to fucking Photoshop AI photos and shit? <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But I guess maybe as a universal um, red flag, if they don't FaceTime with you, it's a catfish. Yeah. That's why, that's probably like, if we had to send the people home with a golden rule. Yeah. If they don't FaceTime you, it's a catfish. And it's unprofessional advice, whether you take it or not. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever, it's up to don't you. Don't care. Mm. But do not care. Don't get catfish. We love you guys. Don't give anyone money on the internet. So, yeah. I love that. Yeah, mm. catfish for sure. Yeah. Okay. Lock it in, Eddie. Lock it in. I can't <laughs> believe we agreed on it. I know. That's why I was like, oh, I wonder how this is going to go. But also, I was having a think. Um, about... Fucked up, must have hurt. It really did. <laughs> Fuck me. It took all of my energy for the day. I was like, oh, this brain. Had to eat a lot of food to get it to work. You know how it is. Um, that if we did a new segment... Yes. I think I want to do a poll to include some different options as to what that might be. So... Oh, what? The new segment? Yeah. You just totally lost me there. All I heard was blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So you want to do a new segment, but you want the people to decide what the segment's yeah. going to be. Yeah. So Why I, couldn't you just say it like that? 
Do you want to slap in the mouth over there? The sass coming over you today. I did your hair. Why am I getting this sass? No, I'm just asking you. Why couldn't you just put it in simple terms like that? Why weren't you listening? Because all I could <laughs> hear was blah, blah, blah. Anyway, were you listening now? We're yes. Good? Okay, fabulous. I want to do a new segment. Yes. Well, I want to suggest a new segment, but I want the people to vote. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm. Mm. So I'm thinking either like an out and about segment where we go into like burly nobbies or surfers. Oh, out in the wild. Out in the wild and we have our microphones and we ask, we like get the audience to choose what questions we want to ask the public. <gasps> so like. Do you mean walking up to people and asking them a question? Yeah. Oh, that's very frightening for me. <laughs> no, it's not frightening. <laughs> that is not frightening. That's frightening. Uh, we can do that. So it's like either an out and about segment i'll have to be really tipsy oh we can do that i can't do that every sunday (laughs) (laughs) no it might be like we might do like one every fortnight or something like it might not necessarily have to be every week but it might just be like a little extra thing that we release um i've got something in my mouth Uh what the fuck it's like fluff i think it's from the pillow there we go um yeah so it's like something we could do or even like once a month we could do it and it'd just be like bonus content for our lovely, dedicated, wonderful listeners and watchers. So we could do that. Okay. Or once a month we could have a um, different guest on the show and we could integrate having a guest. Okay. Do you have any other suggestions? No, no, no. That sounds good. Mm. She's just bringing this on me. She didn't even give me a chance to think about it. Oh, no, I'm just – I was literally sitting here going, what? Ken, let's change yeah, it up. Oh my god! I think this wine is going to my head because I haven't consumed a single drop of alcohol all week, and now my brain's like, oh, god, oh, no, but that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Yeah, I oh, just a little bit scary for our mama. Why talking to strangers? People don't want to talk to me. Why the fuck not? People want to be left alone. No, they don't. <laughs> I can tell you right now. We might even have like, we might even not have to walk up to people. We might have a sign that says. Come chat. <laughs> <laughs> and people just... Come chat about <laughs> anything. Or it's like, you know, I don't know, we could do a question like, what's your body count? Put it on the sign and just have people, let people walk up to oh, us. People won't tell us their body count. Babes, if we go on the surface where all those youngins oh, are see, shit it does, based, it just depends on where you go. That's right. If we go sit out at the front of a nightclub. We night can't club, go to the hoity-toity places because they won't even talk to us. No, but we can go We can go somewhere. In front of a nightclub, we'll just set up shop and yeah. we'll let everyone just... <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go, right, you need to sign a release form. Sign your life away. Thank you. We're going to put this on the internet. Your mum might see it. Don't say anything dumb. Perfect. Okay, that's an idea. Yeah. Great idea. Stop Fab. drinking. I can't help it. It's so fucking good. Anyway, where can they find us? Yay! <laughs> okay, you guys can find us on Instagram at What's the Jam with Two M's. There you will find our link tree. That's where you can tell us anything you want, and it's all anonymous. Yep, lots of stuff on there you can tell us. Yeah. Oh, by the way. Oh my God, what? Nephew out at Pittsworth hit me up because I promised him a T-shirt. Oh, bless him. Uh, we can yeah. get him one. Sorry, shout out to me, nephew. Forgot about that. Yeah. Anyway, so back to where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Yes. Okay, he's we can like, get him one. Arnie, Arnie, you promised. I'm like, oh, my God, I did. I'm so sorry. You're like, I suck. I suck. Um, so you can also get us on app, find us on Apple Podcasts, listen to us on Apple Podcasts, mm. leave a review, yep. leave a comment. Yep. You can find us on Spotify, leave us a review. You can also <laughs> watch us on YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment, mm. rate us. We need ratings everywhere. Yeah. Share we do need us ratings to the everywhere. world. Yeah. Share us to everybody you know. Yeah. I'm thinking we might maybe do another giveaway soon because yeah. they're fun. They are fun. Mm. Lots of fun. But yeah, shout out to everybody. That's where you can find us. Yeah. I think that was it. I think so. TikTok, all of it. Oh, watch us on TikTok. Subscribe to us on TikTok. TikTok? (laughs) TikTok. Whatever. Are you ready? Because you better down that drink because we're going to be doing some TikToks when we get off. I cannot down that drink. I will... I will, I will I will do the poos all week if you down that drink you right don't now. You do the poos at all. So let's <laughs> that's it. We're going. Thanks for listening. Oh, love we you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.